Hello, and welcome to my channel for the smartwatches, and in this videos, I'll be showing you the applications you really need to know that's comes in smartwatch. We have got everything about smartwatches. We have different features in it such as your stopwatch, timer, messages, and even health and exercise activities through which we can quickly track our XRI settings. Some provide different mobile functions such as scheduling events, app availability, sending messages, and answering calls. It works as personal assistant, and it becomes a constant digital companion, as it works as a mini smartphone on your wrist. To use a smartwatch, you really need a smartphone. On your smartphone you have to install the app that comes with the smartwatch such as Android Wear or Watch from Apple. By opening the accompanying app on your smartphone, and turning on Bluetooth, you can connect the watch with your phone. Overall, it's found that the most fitness trackers were able to measure heart rate fairly accurately, but poorly estimated the numbers of calories burned. The Apple Watch performed best, whilst heart rates and calories burned. Apple designed this feature of the Apple Watch for a reason, and that reason is to remind you to breathe when you are withered to tense, experiencing anxiety, or are straight up getting lost in your workout, and if I'm being honest, it is something that you can use for yoga and mediation as a way. To center yourself and guide your breathing is helping you search for 60 seconds intervals in those moments in which you engage in deep breathing. Now coming toward stopwatch here, Tap the start button the green button on the analog stopwatch, then record the lap tap the lap button the white button on the analog stopwatch, then record the final time tap the stop button the red button on the analog stopwatch. Now, lean forward to other default application, the music you're gonna ableism to see in your currently playing songs, your artist, albums, and songs. Apple has finally brought a calculator app to Apple Watch. Launched alongside other new goodies like voice memos, the app is available as a complication on various watch faces and through the home screen. Calculator has always been pre-installed in my dock ever since Apple invented the dock. The original calculator app is inside the application folder. Drag the original app to the dock. The original app will move back to the app folder and a duplicate calculator app will be sitting in your dock. On the right side of the watch there is a home button which helps to go all the way back to your main area, as you can see all different apps, and you can press it again to open clock phase, and other different details of applications. Now a single tab can help in and out in application view. The met metabolic equivalent of TAST is our unit of exercise intensity that indicates how many times more energy is consumed compared to when resting is one. Workouts measured in zones are recorded with average METS. IT may not be recorded due to short exercise time. Open the timers app on your Apple Watch. To quickly start a timer, tap a duration like 1, 3 or 5 minutes or tap a timer you've recently used below recents. To create a custom timer, swipe down, then tap custom. When a timer goes off, you can tap to start a timer of the same duration. Your heart rate is an important way to monitor how your body is doing. You can check your heart rate during a workout. See your resting, walking, breathe, workout, and recovery rates throughout the day, or take a new reading at any time. Your heart rate is an important way to monitor how your body is doing. You can check your heart rate during a workout. See your resting, walking, breathe, workout, and recovery rates throughout the day, or take a new reading at any time.
See the current temperature and conditions for the day. Open the weather upon your Apple Watch. Tap a city, then tap the display to cycle through hourly forecasts of rain. Conditi. See air quality, UV index, and wind speed information, and a 10-day forecast. If you want to position your iPhone for a photo and then take the photo from a distance, you can use your Apple Watch to view the iPhone camera image and take the photo. You can also use your Apple Watch to set a shutter timer. This gives you time to lower your wrist and raise your eyes. With the Sleep app on Apple Watch, you can create bedtime schedules to help you meet your sleep goals. Wear your watch to bed, and Apple Watch can track your sleep. When you wake up, Open the sleep app to learn how much sleep you got and see your sleep trends over the past 14 days. If your Apple Watch is charged less than 30% before you go to bed, you're prompted to charge it. In the morning, just glance at the greeting to see how much charge remains. Tap to the messages icon. You can see here your most recent messages and you can tap on that to see the conversation and if you want to reply, then scroll down and click on reply to send another messages. And here are some different emojis and actually also have cool animated emojis as well. You already know how important it is to monitor your blood pressure on a daily basis if you're worried about high blood pressure or have hypertension. If you own an Apple Watch, you already have a good starting point for tracking your blood pressure at home. Daily tracking can help you establish a baseline for your version of normal and chart any changes to your levels over time. Work and life stress can cause a spike in your readings, and so can some of the foods you eat. Tracking your blood pressure can also help with early diagnosis and false read. The health app on your Apple Watch is a convenient way to sync your blood pressure data in one place on a device that's always with you. The new Amazfit GTR 2 fits right into. It is a smart wearable that builds upon the original GTR and its already impressive hardware and feature set. It adds things like a microphone and speaker for voice commands and Bluetooth calls, 3 gigabytes of independent music storage. It's got a heart rate sensor, gyroscope, accelerometer, air pressure sensor, ambient light sensor, speaker and microphone, GPS receiver. Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.0, all sitting behind a 1.39-inch AMOLED display is vibrant, power-efficient, and comes with always-on features, building on years of activity tracking experience and general UX improvements. The GTR2 also has all of the typical smart features well covered. The charging cradle you get in the box is like the one for the Amazfit T-Rex, which is a departure from the one shipped with the original Amazfit GTR. It's a slimmed-down magnetic snap-on charging attachment rather than a full circle. 